Good morning, Wisconsin. This is normal January weather. of what I do to dye my hair with henna. He was just outside. Shh. Excuse me. Zip it. Shh. You're being too loud. And I dye my hair with henna because chemical dyes make my hair fall out like a lot, like a lot and over the course of like several days. And I have um, curly hair, but it's really, really thin hair. It's really fine hair. So I can't afford to have it just like fall out for no reason. So I actually use um, henna dye from Lush. I've heard of other henna brands, but usually when I try something, if it works and it's cost effective, I don't really have a reason to switch. So this has given me really, really good results. The color is beautiful. I get complimented on it all the time. And people have asked me, I don't know if they're serious so people have asked me if it's my natural color so I'm actually kind of like a sandy blonde um, like really 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 light brunette um, but I am getting grays and um, my eyebrows are my natural color right now so I don't dye my eyebrows I wish that I had eyebrow skills some of those girls do really good eyebrows but this is just this is just regular eyebrow town here <laughs> anyway now I'm rambling so I get this stuff I hope this isn't backwards but it's called caca maroon I've used caca rouge and I really liked it but because my hair is so thin when the light hits it it's almost like orange um, so they su they suggest you do like a tester strand which I didn't do and I didn't do it when I switched to this color either um, but the nice thing is because I started with the lighter of the two colors it covered so um, henna is adding dye it can't strip color so you can't go lighter with henna as far as I've read and I've had so many people tell me don't dye your hair with henna it's really bad for your hair and listen if you dyed your hair with henna and you didn't like the results then don't do it anymore I was looking for a solution and there's really not a lot online about dyeing your hair with henna so I haven't had any bad results my hair is fine it's healthy um, I like it. Obviously, Lush continues to sell it, so some other person, at least one other person, and myself like it, so, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> anyway, enough, like, instigating. I really wasn't trying to convert anybody, but I was sad when I went to, like, give it a try, and I couldn't find any tutorials at all. At all! And, okay, so this is a debt-free channel, right? This is really cost-effective. So I have two squares left, and that's what it takes for me to dye my roots. And I dye it very, like, liberally because I can't see the back of my head. So I would rather put too much on than not enough and be, like, sad about the results. So um, when you buy a bar, they're $25 to $29-ish, depending on what color you get. They've got browns, they've got, like, honey colors, um, all, all kinds of, like... Um, no, no blonde colors per se because it doesn't strip color it just adds it deposits color um, but it um it's I get three uses out of it so it's roughly the same cost as the box dye so I'm just gonna show you what I do I'm gonna cut it up 
I'm going to heat some water. Can you guys hear him in the background? Ghost, what is your deal? What? <laughs> he, he probably wants to go play in the snow somewhere, but I don't want to go play on the snow. I cut it up, I heat up some water in a kettle and um, remove it after it's hit boiling, then I kind of um, let it sit and use my electric mixer to um, get it into like a consistency between pancake batter and brownie batter, like right in between there is perfectly fine. Then I section off my hair and apply it and then I just wrap my head up and just leave it all wrapped up for like at least three hours. I'll probably just have to do it for three hours tonight because if I did it for four hours I'd be up till the crack of dawn or it would feel that way and I, my throat is killing me today. So anyway, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna edit this out and probably check the end for like a rant about henna. Check the end of this video for a rant about henna because you shouldn't have to watch that unless you purposefully want to watch that. So let's take a look here and see how I dye my hair with henna. <laughs> strategically wear the same outfit every single time I probably dye my hair about every six weeks so I've got some like really old don't tell my sister but I stole this from her like 12 years ago um, pajama shorts just because they're easy to move around in and I always it always falls on my legs because I sit on the floor and do it so it doesn't make sense to wear something long just a plain black sports bra and then I wear this shirt um, I just wear this shirt when I'm dyeing it because then what happens is I actually fold the shirt up over my hair which leads me to the next thing that I do that's extra it's just how I've always done it is I have all my hair dyed and I wrap it all up in a plastic bag and then I put another plastic bag over that and the idea is, is it's trapping in like heat so then I put tin foil and then I wrap that blue shirt I just peel it right up off of my body up over my neck and so like the neck area is around here and I just kind of have everything bundled up in that so I obviously don't go in public when I'm doing this um, and then this shirt was like a fundraiser shirt and I just cut like a huge neck out of it like I just cut like a huge neck out of it and I just wear it for like modesty around the house and it also depending on how thick you make your dye, um, it might reach, you know, body temperature and start to kind of drip out the back a little bit. So just treat it like it's going to stain everything. I've never ruined clothes or carpet or flooring or t the tub has never been ruined, but if you just treat it like it might stain, then you're better off like all together. So I'm gonna get this set up. I almost forgot the other thing that you're going to want to have handy are two wet washcloths, just like sort of wet, don't wring them out too much, and just have those sitting off to the side because it does get messy. Um, it's not as contained as chemical dye, chemical dye tends to be more like a gel, and this is just, it's like liquidy mud, like there's really no way to like sugarcoat it, but if you know what you are getting into, I think that's really best, so alright, sit tight, I'm going to get set up here.
let this sit for at least three hours that's just my personal rule um, and I'm gonna watch Netflix anyway so see you later